This is the S4 sculpting sampler. A few months ago, Torso released a new operating system and added a lot of amazing new features. They also made some changes to the tape device to better emulate analog tape behavior. This resulted in moving some features, like freeze, to the new disk device. Here's the deal. I've never used the old tape device. 2.0 was already out when I got the S4, but I've heard a lot about it on the S4 Discord server and online forums. Two things usually come up. The six minute long overdub looper mode and the viral soundscapes buffer freeze technique that Uber showed in this video. I'll put the link in the description below. Today, I'll be taking a look at the soundscapes from anything technique and see if I can replicate it using the disc device in version 2.0.3. I've created this sample, Soundscapes in V2, to be of similar length to Ura's sample. If I press freeze, soundscapes, and adjust the density on page two of the disc device, you'll see we are getting something similar to when Ura freezes the sample of his voice on the tape device. Next, Ura pitches the sample down, but disc will only let us adjust the speed in octave increments, which isn't exactly what we want here. We need a finer control of pitch, so I'm going to adjust the tempo of the sample instead. Next, Ura moves to the Mosaic device. Mosaic is a granular processor on the S4. We'll turn up the spray, which modulates the playhead and affects the stereo spread of the grains. Then we can add some reverb, I love, love, love the reverb on the S4. We'll compress it a little. Next, Ura uses the resonator or ring device set to a minor scale. This adds a tonal quality to the freeze buffer. Now that we've got our sound set up, we can begin to explore it. And as we start to modulate things, our soundscape will come to life more and more. If we want to smooth out the buffer, we can increase the size on the mosaic device. We can also control the pitch of the grains here. I'm pitching down 17 semitones to match the Ura video. And you can see, this gives a lot of control over the tone and character of our soundscape. Next, we'll add a modulator to the offset parameter to get a little bit more movement in our soundscape. Now for the really fun part. We can still move the offset knob while the modulator is doing its thing. So we can explore our soundscape while the modulator keeps moving the start of our freeze buffer around, keeping things dynamic and lively. At this point, Ura adds another modulator, this time a really slow wave, skewed to ramp up, and uses it to increase the reverb amount. It's like a slow motion reverb throw. I'm going to have it push the delay up as well. We can add some drive and a little more compression as the reverb and delay are swelling up. Remember, this started out like this, soundscapes in V2. And as we scrub through the freeze buffer with offset, there are so many sonic dimensions we can explore.
we want, we can change the scale and the filter and the ring device. We can add some more granular processing in Mosaic. modulation to the pitch of the mosaic grains. This is basically what Ura did using the pre 2.0 tape device. Just poured it over to the disk device in version 2.0.3. This really is such a fun way to explore and transform sounds. This works great with voice samples, field recordings, instrument samples, anything that varies in pitch and timbre over time. The buffer freeze technique is not limited to hardware samplers or the S4. You can do the same thing using Ableton's simpler or sampler device. I even used to do this in Reason back in the day on Windows XP. Some samplers will even let you map velocity to the loop start position. This is a fun way to sequence scrubbing through your sample by drawing volume automation curves. Do you have a favorite sampler technique? If so, I'd love to nerd out in the comments with you about it. Okay, now that we have our device chain set up and a soundscape we like, we can hot swap in other samples and see what happens. Let's roll the dice and see where the sound takes us. We can get entirely different soundscapes just by loading other samples into the chain we've set up here. We could even use scenes to start crafting different soundscapes that are similar enough to work together and start building a larger composition or a live performance setup. You can add a rhythmic element to your soundscape by adjusting the mosaic size smaller to get some chopping. And if we add some of our random modulator to the noise level, we'll get sort of a repeating random rhythm. This sounds very nice. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I've enjoyed making it. Oh, and thanks for watching, really. If you stuck around this far, you're a real one, and I appreciate it. Peace.